Hello, my love. Good morning to you. It is nice to visit with you, as always. I hope that you are well. I hope that you smile at something today. I am thinking about you, as always. I was thinking also about how not to piss off your family, and or members of your family, I suppose. And this falls back on many things that I have said already, but it's sort of just how to stay in good f stead with your family members. And the trick to this is stop telling them what to do. And this, again, reverberates in other things I've talked about in terms of giving advice to others and telling people how they should go about things. But stop telling your family members what to do. Whether that's as simple as how to cook the vegetables or even larger issues of how they should live their lives. Don't do it. If you want to piss them off, that is a surefire way to do it. And again, whether it's the minutia of how to do something in the kitchen or the, the largesse of how to live their lives, especially when it comes for, from family members. And I don't know why this is. You know, friends can say so many things to you that you will accept and actually consider and ponder. But when a family member does it, it just does not work out the same. And so I would advise you not to do it. Even more or or at least wait until you're explicitly asked to provide input. I, and then even, even then you must be wary. I, would, I eventually got to the point where I realized, especially with your mother, if she was going to ask me for advice, that what I needed to do was to find out what the options were that I was choosing among. So she would say, should I, you know, what do you think I should do? And then I would say, well, what are the choices here? And she'd say, oh, the choices are A, B, and C. And then I would pick among those choices. And it's very important to do it that way. Because otherwise, if she just said, what do you think I should do? I would end up telling her what I truly thought she should do, which is something I had already told her a gazillion times before, and which she had already rejected. Because the thing that I think that others should do, which of course we always think is the right way to go about things, um, is no surprise to the other people. It was certainly no surprise to your mother when I would tell her how I thought she should go about her life. But if I asked her to give me the choices to choose from, then it was narrowed down into a set of options that were sort of pre-approved, if you will, and that then I could choose from and, you know, provide my input of why among those options is the thing to do. And then, of course, you must resist saying, oh, and by the way, but if I were really doing it myself, I would do this thing over here, which is the thing that has already been rejected. So, just a bit of advice, something I found helpful, very hard to do. Um, easy to say not to tell others what to do, especially family members, because you care so deeply about them and because you believe so deeply that what you believe is right. Those two combinations of things make us want to espouse our brilliance, if you will, and guide others that we love to safe harbor, which um, just never works. So. I will leave it at that. I love you. I'm thinking about you as always. And I will recommend again, Shuffle Drones from Alluvium. And with that, I will bid you adieu.